hello welcome back to my youtube channel i am ellie brown from uptown with ellie brown and you know i am here in new orleans for those of you who may not know or i really didn't share on instagram and on social media but i am here for alexa's wedding and alexis helps over here at uptown with ellie brown she's amazing could not do this without her but she got married this weekend and so we came here to celebrate her and her now hubby so long story short as obviously i was packing trying to rush and get things out of you know get out of the house so we got here on time i forgot all my makeup brushes all of them the only thing i bought was the spoolie for my eyebrows and two beauty blenders like that was all i brought i didn't even i even forgot to bring face wash okay this is what i have here i ended up going to sephora over here in the area real quick they didn't really have many options for like traveling brushes and then the brushes that they had in those little packs were not the brushes that i really wanted so I could complete the look that I had in mind that I wanted to do. But then I did see these two little brushes. So I got just these two because I'm like, I have 50 brushes at home. I do not want to spend the money on brushes. It's just it doesn't make sense, right? Long story short, here we are two brushes in a beauty blender what could i possibly do well i did it i am so proud of myself but i did it guys i loved how it looked you know my makeup was a little bit on the heavier side obviously because of the event and i wanted a really pretty look but i thought you know what since i'm here and since i don't have any of the kids with me you hear this look anyways I thought, you know what, I'm gonna record it while I'm here in the hotel and I can actually sit down and have some time to record before we head off back home. What you do is just obviously swap out the products that you use for foundation, bless, blush, bronzer, all of that. As far as I look, I went with the easiest look that I could think of that didn't require a lot of precision, which was a smoky eye look. Because I feel like smoky eye looks can be a little bit more messy, if, you know, for, for lack of better words. I will link down everything I used down below. Let's get to this tutorial, right? <laughs> So I have my beauty blender here. I cleaned it after I used it. But remember, always use the stamp. You can see it's really big in size when it's nice and, and wet and, and damp. But first, I'm gonna go in with my Hydro Primer. I love this primer. I first bought the small size and I went and ended up in buying, I just recently bought this big size. It's an amazing primer. Spread yeah. that all around. Next step, I'm gonna take my iconic London spray, shake that up a little bit and spray it all over. And then my little fan, let it dry a little bit. So the idea with this is it's obviously a shimmery spray. So I like putting it underneath a very matte and dry foundation just to kind of bring a little bit of glow underneath. And then this is a prep set and go. So you can use something like this to prep your skin, to set it, and then to top it off as a setting spray. But not all of them are a prep, set, and glow. It just depends, and you'll see it on the bottle of each one. But I really, really love this one. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with my Laura Mercier uh, foundation. And I really only use this one when, like for events or when I need the full coverage, because this, this bad boy is really full coverage. Like it gives you full coverage in one layer. And so the idea also is because you really only have a beauty Beauty blender for all of your face products. I literally used almost every inch of this beauty blender yesterday because, you know, I had to use a foundation, concealer, bronzer, blush, and a highlighter with this beauty blender. But you know what? It worked, so I'm not mad at it. Now we're just gonna blend this up. And I have a self tanner on, and so my body is like two or three shades darker than my face. So this foundation is also a little bit darker than normal, just to kind of match that, because I bring it down, obviously. 
Okay, foundation is all blended out, and as you can see, it is a very pretty long wear. It is a very like full coverage foundation. I really love that for, I mean, if you're doing pictures or special events or you want something that's like bulletproof all day, this one is right up there with that Estee Lauder double wear. I feel like it doesn't get the hype that it deserves. So now concealer. Okay, concealer, I'm using my Born This Way. And the one thing I actually have learned with concealer, I'm um, watching a lot of other people, is you really don't need a lot. This looks like a lot now. I just try not to use a whole lot because I feel like if you use too, too much, and if it's concealer that's like really, really heavy, it ends up getting really cakey. So sometimes if you use it a little bit less, that you'll find that it actually doesn't cake as much. So I'm going to let that set just for just a little bit. I'm gonna spray my mist and fix. And I'm just gonna let this dry down a little bit. While it dries down a little bit, I'm gonna do my eyebrows off camera. And I just have my Sigma. This is the color and shape brow power duo. I'm gonna do this off camera and I'll come back. Now, taking the opposite end, we're gonna blend that concealer. My eyebrows are all done. JB went to go get some coffee because I need it that i'm the type of person that like coffee before talking like really don't try to bring full-on conversations with me until i've had my coffee anyways now over here what i'm doing is i'm taking that damp beauty blender and i'm kind of doing that baking technique with my loose powder and just kind of setting some areas that i tend to get like oily or you know just keep that from looking too shiny over time this is from tati beauty this actually was really nice just to kind of remove some of that excess powder that I used for setting the concealer. But now I'm gonna move on to the eyes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this one. This is a crease um, brush and I'm just gonna go in with this brown right here. And this is the Lawless V1 Little Palette. This is a great just everyday palette, it does so much. But I'm gonna go in with that brown and I'm gonna go right in the crease here to start off as my smoky eye look. Which side note, one thing, I need to blend that. One thing I need hotels, all hotel designer, developers, what else would you call it? decorators i need you guys to add ring lights to hotel rooms okay i don't know why but hotel room lighting and trying to do makeup is absolutely horrible i mean i i i, I even thought about it. i'm like i'm gonna start bringing and traveling with my own ring light because it sounds <laughs> because i feel like hotel lighting is just so so bad okay so I'm gonna add this to the other crease. Now with that second brush, and this is a shadow brush, I am going to go in with this dark brown here, and I'm gonna work that on the outer corners here and just try to blend as much as you can with this little brush. It's gonna take a little bit longer than normal, but what I think is helpful, just first place your color and then you can blend it out after. So just pack in the color to your desire and then blend. And I've mentioned this before, but you can always go back in with that first brush that you used and you can use this to help blend as well. Now, another thing is, let's say you forgot all your brushes and you can even go and get two brushes at the store. One thing I love about cream shadows, I did bring this one as well. This is a new one that I picked up or that I ordered um, from, from Ulta. These little cream shadows or creams, the, the cream shadow that comes in sticks, those are amazing. I have tons of them. I love them just because they're really easy and you can create just a great look with these because literally all you need is just this. And what you can do is with your finger, you can apply it with your pinky and then just with another finger, you're just kind of kind of dab and kind of blend it out with your finger and upward. The Laura Mercier caviar sticks are amazing. ColourPop I think has some too. This is uh, their, their jelly shadow that I picked up. It's pink. This is a gorgeous one as well. But I'm gonna sit over here and I'm gonna try to place my color and blend them out here and I'll show you the finished look. Okay, I have that blended out. And then what I'm gonna do is with that shadow color, just with what's left over on the brush, I'm gonna bring that on my lower lid here. I look scary with my eyes all wide open. 
And now with that same brush, I'm gonna go in here with the black. I'm going to, again, do the same concept, but I'm just gonna really kind of concentrate it on the very outer corner and I won't bring it inwards as much. So I'm just gonna kind of be placing it like right here and then kind of blend out a little bit. And then same thing with that leftover black, I will bring it in under lower lid as well. I'm gonna do that and I'll be back. Okay, and then finally, I'm going to go in with my finger and I'm just gonna kinda, on that white shadow, this one right over here, I'm going to just place it very lightly on the inner. And then I'm gonna take my pinky and just kinda blend it out a little bit. That is done. So what I will do now is I'm gonna curl my lashes. I'm going to use my flick and stick from Lola Lashes and I'm, it's color black. I'm going to do my wing liner, put on my lashes, and then I'll come show you how I did my bronzer, blush, and highlighter. Eyes are all done. This is what the eyes look like. You've got that smoky, you know, it's just smoky. It doesn't have to be, you know, 100% perfect. It's just it is what it is. <laughs> okay, so then finally, you wanna finish off with bronzer, blush, and highlighter. So I'm gonna take my butter bronzer and what I am going to do is I'm gonna kind of pinch my beauty blender and I'm just gonna dab it right here so you can see the color and then just lightly dab and place the contour where I want contour. And on this, you wanna make sure not to like rub and just blend it out because you're, by this time your foundation is, you know, obviously dried and you don't, if you're gonna like, if you try to rub, you're just gonna move your foundation and then it's gonna, it's just not gonna look good, trust me. Trust, okay? And now for blush, I'm gonna kinda do the same thing, but on this side, I'm gonna use my Lawless Vintage Love color. So the color right there, I'm gonna even put it a little bit on my hand first, cause I don't want my first to be too much color. Right there, and now for the highlighter. Hold on, let me make sure it looks good over here in this light. It's good, okay, highlighter, same thing. Also, you can also do your use your finger. I put just a little bit in the inner corner here. That is that. And now you're gonna do your lips. For lip, I am using the color Curl Friend from the Lip Bar. Very pretty color. This is actually not the color I used last night, but it'll work. Okay, for the final spray. Bring some glow back in if you want. You can use your glow spray as well, but I'm good. And then, what everything looks like with natural lighting. It's a lot of makeup, I know. It's a little heavier than normal, but when you go to an event or a wedding, you need things to look a little bit more, you know, flawless and even. So guys, that is the completed look um, and how I, <laughs> don't know how I did it, but I did it. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope that was informative and helped you guys in case you ever forget your makeup brushes. Just come back and watch this video, save it. I will link everything I use down below. Honey, you, come, you wanna come sign off? What do they do? So if you, if you like this video, give her a thumbs up <laughs> and uh, Subscribe. Subscribe. Uh -huh. the subscribe button right over here, uh -huh. bottom right, uh -huh. left corner, somewhere. Uh-huh. And, and uh, comment down below. Yeah. Comment down below. Bye guys. Bye.